an extra step that you don't have to take but if you want to be extra feminine and hey guys Elena is my name welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to talk about how to walk more elegantly now summer is nearly here and i am seeing a lot of girls beautiful girls start putting on their pretty dresses and one thing that they sometimes forget is to think about their posture and how they are walking now i think your walk can either make or break you you can be wearing the most beautiful designer outfit there is but if you are not walking with the correct posture then there is just no point of you even wearing this outfit because you are in fact butchering that outfit your posture is so crucial when creating the first impression whether you're in an interview or you're going on the first date or the love of your life your future prince before you have even opened your mouth that person has already sized you up and has already made their initial impression of you so it is in your favor to make that initial impact last if your goal is to be more feminine confident and elegant when you walk in this video i am going to give you the steps that you can take to help you achieve this the first thing that we will be thinking about is our posture so the way we are standing we're going to stand with our back straight, head looking straight, our shoulders back and down. Now, this part is important because what I often see is when people put back their shoulders, they forget to drop them. And when they forget to drop them, that creates a very tense looking area around the neck. And that's not what we want. So what you can do is you can roll back your shoulders a couple of times and then when you put them back drop them with an impact and leave them that way another thing you can do is stand against the wall and make sure that the back of your head the back of your shoulders and your bum are all touching the wall next we want to think about how we position our head as a general rule we want to be looking straight with your chin parallel to the floor if your chin is pointing slightly up that creates an arrogant look if your chin is pointing down that makes you seem a little shy insecure timid also what that does is when your chin is pressed against your neck that gives you a double chin and that's not very attractive so i'll give you an example this is my chin looking straight ahead of me parallel to the floor and this is how ugly i look when my chin is down next you want to think about your arms now the arms can be an awkward body part because especially when we're standing we often don't know what to do with our arms we, we're fiddling with our thumbs we don't know whether to like stand like this or with our hands in our pocket and when we're walking we tend to forget about our arms and we also should not do that so as a general rule keep your arms down slightly to the back and when you're walking have your arms slightly brush against your thighs if your arms are too much out like this that's a very masculine gym boy walk you don't want to do that so just gently ever so slightly have your palms of the hands brush against your thighs elbows should be tucked in and very close to the body now an extra step that you don't have to take but if you want to be extra feminine and you know super cute what you can do is your elbows instead of just having them by your side and back have your elbows slightly turned and angled into your body which means that the forearm is going to automatically face the outside. You don't want it open too much, but just ever so slightly. When you're walking, you want to walk in an imaginary straight line. So imagine there's a line drawn and you are walking on this line. Now, if you're wearing high heels, this is particularly important. 
if you are not wearing high heels you can walk on two lines but try and have these two lines merging somewhat also when you're stepping you want to have the toes slightly turned outwards ever so slightly when i try this it honestly seems and it feels to me that it is an exaggeration and that my feet look like duck feet but when i recorded myself and i looked back on it it is definitely not exaggerated and it really adds to this elegant feminine walk that i am aiming for when you're stepping you want to step first with your heel then the sole and then your toes when you're walking in an elegant feminine confident manner especially when you're wearing a dress what you want to do is take smaller steps now this is something that i particularly struggle with because i by habit i don't know where this came from but i tend to take really large strides and when i look at myself in like a shop mirror i always try to correct my steps there you go guys these tips they're quick they're easy they're not rocket science and you have most definitely have heard of them before when you start implementing them into your walk it absolutely transforms the way you feel about yourself and that is the crucial point this isn't about how other people see you this is more about how you feel about yourself because when you are confident when you are really confident within and your confidence isn't coming from what you're wearing or if you're wearing any makeup or if you're you know following the latest trends literally you can be wearing a plastic bag or a cheap outfit but if you are walking with elegance passion confidence femininity it makes all the difference trust me guys this dress i think it cost me like six euro i got it three four five years ago but when i do wear it i absolutely rock it because i walk straight and i walk with confidence and elegance and if that is something that is important to you start thinking about how you carry yourself there's plenty of videos online teaching you in more depth on how to be elegant and how to walk about your posture scroll through a few of them you will pick up different tips from different people i'm going to give you some tips it's a journey of discovery and of self-love there you go guys thank you so much if you like this video consider subscribing that way i will know that this is the kind of content that you're interested in and i will make more content pertaining to this topic thank you and see you in the next video